Yo, 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 what's up guys? Three Misfits back at you again. Um, today we're gonna be working on our beautiful 2022 R7 once again. Um, only has 192 kilometers on it, so it's literally brand new. It's gonna be a quick video. We're gonna be installing these uh, frame flyers from Savage Racing Parts. Um, again, they're very beautifully made. I actually do like them myself, and I will be seeing if they make them for any other bike. Um, but yeah, it's a quick install video, nothing major, It'll probably be like five minutes long. So stay tuned here, guys. All right, so for this quick install, you're gonna be needing a 17 millimeter socket. Um, I prefer using an extension just so you don't damage any fairings of the paint on it. Um, you will be needing a Allen key or Allen head. I here have a, a bit from Mac Tools. It's H10, so it's like a multi-tool, so that's why it looks the way it does, but it does do the job as an Allen key. So that's all you'll be needing. Um, so yeah, so when you're doing this, make sure you do one side at a time. Uh -huh just so that nothing does shift. If it does shift, you have a little bit of leverage on the other side. Um, again, also when you pull out the bolts, make sure the bolts are the same pitch. Um, you don't wanna be stripping anything on the inside of the bike or frame or anything like that. It's just gonna cause you a five minute job and two, a half an hour or three hour job. All right, so let's get right into it here. All right, so we got the old bolt out. Um, I did go ahead and test the new bolt that we got with the frame sliders in the threads there, and it does line up amazingly. So make sure you hand tighten this first or use a, a ratchet or anything that won't overdo it just so you make sure everything's lined up properly and you're not stripping anything like before. All right. All right, and pretty simple install. Like I said, it's gonna be a quick video. Um, I would note, um, you can move this R7 logo around that's on top here, adjust it however you want. We decided to go to the top, you can go to the side if you like, um, nothing really, anything else special than just that. It does have a nice little Savage Racing Parts Performance, uh, logo on the side here. It's a nice little touch, actually just pops out. Again, you see here, R7 logo, that does unthread if you do want to take that off for whatever reason. So just note that, and yeah, we'll go ahead and do the other side now quickly. All right, so now we're on the left side or the clutch side, you can call it. Um, again, we'll be doing the same thing, the 17 millimeter bolt in here. Um, again, take it out with a ratchet. Don't use the impact on it. Don't wanna rattle anything or scratch anything on the sides here. Again, we're looking for a clean, uh, simple look. So nothing fancy here. All right. Here we go, folks. That sums it up right here. So frame starter is installed quick and easy on the Yamaha 2022 R7. Um, again, only tools you need is an H10 uh, Allen key and a 17 mil socket. And that'll be that. So quick and easy video here. Just putting out for you guys. If you liked it, leave us a like. Go subscribe to our channels. Everything will be in the description down below. Other than that, we'll see you guys later. Peace.